All right, hey everyone. So I thought I'd record a little video explanation of something that I uh, was having trouble figuring out, but after learning a little bit more about Adobe Premiere, I realized that it was pretty uh, simple to do this. Um, for all the videos that I'm making, if if they're not you know little one-off recorded videos for my phone, I do a little post-processing in Adobe Premiere to make it look a little more professional. And part of that is I like to put a little uh, intro uh, title with my logo and the title of the video, and then also a little outro title. And I don't want to have to make those every time, especially if there's any transitions in them. The first couple of videos I made had, um, you know, a slightly more complicated um, multi-title sequence, which I've since abandoned to go for a, a single title. And uh, same with the ending. So regardless of what your titles are going to be like, it's nice to make them once and then reuse them in different projects. So in this video, I'm going to go through how to how to do that uh, with a real simple example. So I opened up a sample uh, project here. I'm going to start with uh, my first sequence. Let's rename that intro. And this will be the the sequence that'll be at the beginning of the video and we'll make another sequence and we'll call it outro. Uh, I usually do these uh, HD settings because that's what I shoot on my phone and this will keep the size the same. So now we have two, two sequences for the intro and the outro and for here we'll just create a new title And let's just make this super uh, basic. I'll just throw some text in here. And we'll center this. All right, so there's the title. We'll close out of there and put that into our first sequence. And if we wanted to add any music or talking, hey, this is my title, um, we could add that in here and check to make sure that it goes for as long as we want. And just for uh, just for the sake of uh, the video, I'm going to add another uh, screen so we add a transition. Call that credit, and we'll just say make that look a little classier. Position that in the center. And set it to the same. All right, so now we got two titles. Shorten those up a little bit and uh, add a a dip to black between them. And then we can preview up here that in fact, it shows this and then it dips and it shows by Jason. So that's kind of the title sequence that I want in this video. Um, so for the outro, I will duplicate this last title and put that in here, edit it. Thank, thanks for watching. And you know that might be the thing that you have at your end of, end of 
end of your video. So now we have an outro and an intro. And I'll save this project. And then we'll actually make our new project. And we'll call this, you know, my build number two. Imagine this is the actual video that you're working on. And you'll import all sorts of videos in here. But the first thing you want to do is import your uh, the selected sequences of your other project. We'll be able to select the intro and the outro. And there's the titles, but we can also just pull in these fully uh, full clips here. So I'll pull in the intro and the outro. And if you imagine, I'll put my video and the transitions and the audio related to the actual video I'm making. And I can just transition from the intro right into the video and the video right into the outro. And I can do this every single time I make a new video. Now, the next time you do this, if you just double click on this, it goes right into that sequence. And you can, uh, you can edit the title right then and there. And now that has updated in the actual video that you're editing. And we make another project. Call this my build number three. And we'll uh, do the same thing. We'll import the title project. And you'll see that it hasn't changed the original project. And we can change that to my build number three. Save it out. And if we go back to the other project, there it is, my build number two. So, you know, all you have to do is basically load up your um, common common title sequences, import them into the into your new project, and edit the title page or you know, any perhaps like a link to your blog or whatever that changes for each video. And, uh, you know, this is going to make your videos a little more cleaner and also, um, you know, save you time in, in adding that, uh, that little dose of professionalism. So thanks for watching this. And, uh, you know, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and you'll see more videos like this or build, uh, build logs and, and the like. So thanks again. Mm -hmm.